Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm going to tie a pattern that's called the Mohican. It's very popular in England and Britain, uh, the UK in general. It's uh, generally used to imitate things like damselflies, micro leeches, um, pin fry, the, uh, being minnows, the uh, young of the year. Uh, it's a pattern I used last fall at the Alberta Lost Style Championship and was fortunate enough to win the gold with this pattern. Uh, several people at the time had called it a um, Ace of Spades, which it's not. Similar, but uh, certainly a different pattern. Uh, so what I'm applying here is just some 18 knot nano silk. I just waxed the end of it. As you can see, I have my little fly tires wart here. And we basically just um, play with different colors of micro straggle, which is a Zemper Fly product. It's a 2 mil micro straggle, so it can get down fairly fine. Uh, orange is one of the colors I use often. I'll also use it uh, a red micro straggle or a chartreuse or fluorescent green or fluorescent yellow. It just depends on light conditions, water clarity, sunlight. Uh, but I'll just tie the micro straggle in just in front of the hook point or at the hook point as you can see here and then I'll wrap it with tight turns and build a small ball in behind the hook eye uh, before I apply my wing or attach my wing so you can do it either rotary or style or hand over hand uh, the rotary feature is it's just a nice feature to have to work with um, I certainly like it and I'll run two or three layers just to create a small ball in this fashion. Coming around in the front, the micro straggle behind the hook eye, and now we'll just tie off the micro straggle. This is a simple and easy pattern. I, I don't particularly tie too many very complicated patterns for my competition angling. I just find simple works. Uh, it's easier to control um, the flies when you're when they're fast or easy. So if you have to be up all night tying for a competition, this is just one of those patterns. It's just simple and easy to tie. So that's the micro straggle added. Now I'll just add in a, a strip of zonker cut squirrel uh, and I prefer squirrel over rabbit because it's smaller lighter thinner and it just does for me it just does a better job to keep the profile uh, exceptionally small and slender so I'll just grab it in by just behind the hook eye and have a few touching turns moving further back you have to be careful with this nano silk uh, with the with the squirrel skin, uh, zonker strip because it, if you pull too tight it certainly will cut it. And I'll cut the wing length well, three times the hook shank length so if we go once, twice just stick the scissors in against the skin and you can see we just have a nice little wing and it stands up over the ball kind of push, forces uh, the wing up so at this point you can tie off and finish it, the pattern or you can add, uh, quite often what I'll do is I'll add a very small amount of flash whether it's a red flashaboo, a red flashaboo, something along this line, or a black itself, it's more of a gunmetal style. Um, and I just tie this in on top, so we'll just wrap it around the barrel of my bobbin and then I'll just run touching turns back a bit and this generally just keeps the pattern nice and slender still and keeps the flash on top. I mean, you can put it on the sides if you choose but I, uh, I find this works just as well having it on top. So I, I cut the flash with just slightly longer than the wing length and again at this point if you wish you can finish off the fly with some with a couple of whip finish knots and then the fly is complete. Or again what I like to do is add a little bit more contrast into the pattern. I'll take um, 
these Inferno Goose Biots from Zemperfly. So they're kind of a dual tone color. So there's a, a hot orange with a kind of a yellowy orange uh, on the in, inside portion of the biot. And I'll just cut the foot off. I'll split it like this and then offer it just on top. Uh, just a little longer than the microstrigal body and then they'll pinch down on either side and center and then center these biots. It's, it's a very simple easy pattern to tie and now I'll just build a small head bring the thread to the front behind the hook eye pull good and tight and that will cut my biots pretty much. And now I can just run a whip finish. Again, wax my thread a bit. And run a second whip finish. completed fly. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, give it a go. A go. It's an absolutely exceptional pattern. Uh, fish just love it. Uh, I'll fish it in the springtime, uh, throughout the summer and into the fall. Uh, I run the darker patterns, uh, the orange and blacks, more so in the fall. I'll run orange and olive uh, color combinations uh, in the summer. And then in the springtime, I, again, I run more black and red. Uh, color versions and black and chartreuse uh, early spring but I also tie them for the springtime a little bit larger this is on a size 12 I would tie this on a size 10 um, and if I was going to go into larger patterns then I would replace the squirrel zonker strip with a rabbit zonker strip and again there's all kinds of variegated and solid colors so very very easy versatile pattern uh, very effective and fishes extremely well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day.